Hey, uh, Marvin, how much contact did you have uh, with Denver through the pre-draft process? And then, you know, what was it like getting the, the phone call? Uh, I've had contact with the receivers coach and then the special teams coordinator also just throughout the process. Um, nothing crazy, though, just a little meeting. What do you think about Denver? I mean, they, it didn't jump out as an obvious need at receiver, but what do you think about Denver playing with Russell Wilson? And what do you bring to the table, Marvin? Yes, sir. I think it's a great opportunity. You know, just um, just be out there in Denver. You know, there's tradition, uh, the atmosphere, all that great stuff. You know, just something that's known all around. Just just an opportunity for me to just show what I can do. You know, for the whole league, for the whole world. And you know, I'm bringing to the table. Be a great teammate. Um, just however I can fit the offense. You know, that's what I'm going to do with my best every single day, in and out. And um, it's like you said earlier about Russell Wilson. You know, one of the great quarterbacks in the game right now. So just to be able to get paired up with him, learn from him. Um, X's and O's and just life and also just little things within the game. I mean, it's a huge opportunity. Mark, Marvin, you mentioned what? that Russell, you, Russell Wilson, obviously one of the game's top deep ball throwers for a long time. What, what's your excitement level for you know for that element of it? I'm sorry, I can hear you clearly. Yeah, uh, yeah, just Russell Wilson, obviously one of the you know one of the game's best deep ball throwers for a long time. You've really been able to stretch the field. How excited are you for that component of it of working with Russ in that way? Oh, yeah, I'm um, really excited. I feel like the deep ball is probably one of the strong points of my game. So just with his history, um, just his past, you know, just him being the quarterback he is. And, you know, just like you said, him being comfortable throwing the deep ball, that's a huge thing he does. Just being able to be that, fit that role, you know, whatever my role is when I get there, um, that'll be a huge plus for me, just plus for the team. Marvin, you mentioned uh, deep ball as a strength. What are some other strong points of your game, and what are some parts of your game that you want to work on and improve at the next level? Yeah, I feel like my best known thing is just I'm a playmaker. Uh, very versatile inside, outside. Played both about 50 50 in Oklahoma. And, um, you know, I feel like one of my best things is stretching the field, but also just making big plays out of short routes, intermediate routes, all the different stuff, screen game. And um, I've averaged around 19 yards per catch in my career and also um, I've been very reliable in the return game. So um, just with that stuff, I feel like I bring a lot to the team on different aspects. And I'm just excited to get a chance to go out there and show it. You mentioned you talked with the Broncos special teams, coaches. Uh, what what can you bring to the return game, and where are you most comfortable, punt uh, or kick return? I'm sorry. I, can't, I can hear you clearly. You, you, you mentioned that you talked to the Broncos special teams, coaches, throughout the process. What do you bring to, to special teams in the return game? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, no, all three years of Oklahoma, I've done punt return and kick return. Uh, kick return, I've kind of been in and out as they let younger guys do it. But punt return, um, I've started ever since I was a true freshman in college, my first career game. So um, it's something I'm really comfortable with, something I've done for three years. And um, I'm just excited to bring that to the next level. You know, if that's my role for the team. At Denver, last year drafted uh, Benito and Dallaire and Turner Yell. How, how well do you know those guys? And how exciting is it to play with a couple of guys that you know well from, from college? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting. Um, uh, OU, it's a huge brotherhood. So just being able to play with those two again, uh, play with them for two years, and um, just talk to uh, we call him Trouble, but Turner Yell, uh, not too long ago at the spring game. So just to be able to reconnect with those guys, also really close with Samaj P. Ryan and his family. So be up there with them. I mean, it'll be it'll be great. I mean, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. How steep do you think your learning learning curve will be, and do you think you can make an impact as a rookie? Um, I, I hope I can make a great impact as a rookie. You know, wherever the kind of the ball fits for me. Um, as far as the learning curve, uh, I pick up usually on things pretty fast. I mean, it's going to be a new world for me, of course. You know, NFL, all that stuff. So just more than just X's and O's, just getting adjusted to the lifestyle, on the schedule, all that different stuff. It's really, just the small things. Just get, getting adjusted to that, and then everything else will take care of itself. What does it mean to you that the Broncos made an aggressive move to trade up for you to grab you where they did? Uh, it means a lot. It just kind of just shows how much. They trusted me, what they see in me, and just the possibilities um, I could make. You know, one thing you just want other people to believe in you, also as you believe in yourself. So, I'm just extremely grateful for that, and I'm um, just ready to see what I can do for the Denver Broncos. Marvin, who do you have with you there right now, and what was it like to get that call? Um, right now, I have my whole family, a couple of friends outside, high school coach, uh, some guys from Oklahoma, also, and I mean, it meant a lot. You know, um, life changing. That's for sure. I mean, I mean. Uh, all my people were expecting a call tonight from some team, but we had no idea who. So, um, you know, just really excited to be able to go out to Denver. I mean, it's, I mean, it's really unexpected. And just, I'm just going through so many emotions right now. It's hard to even like talk about it, honestly. 
You said it was unexpected. How surprised were you that it was the Broncos? Um, I was pretty surprised. There wasn't too much communication throughout the process, but there was communication. So, you know, it's a possibility. And you never know. You know, 32 NFL teams, some like to do a further background check on you. Some teams know guys within colleges, and they'll talk a lot about you. So I feel like a lot of uh, the Broncos work with behind the scenes, not directly through me. So I mean, that's just the biggest thing, just kind of expecting anything. And, um, you know, that's really kind of what happened. One thing Coach Payton is, is asked of his receivers to be able to play inside and outside. How comfortable are you playing kind of both those roles? Yes, sir, extremely comfortable. Uh, played through two different offense coordinators and Lincoln Riley and Jeff Levy in college. Um, played 50-50 in both of those offenses as far as inside and outside. I had learned both uh, three years of my career. So um, not easy at all, but something I'm definitely comfortable with, something I've done in the past. So just get ready to do that, you know, if that's what Denver asked of me. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Marvin. Thanks, Marvin.